Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate a virtual machine from one host to another by using vCenter server. I have three machines. One is vCenter server, one ASXi host and another ASXi host. I will go to the web interface. I logged into vCenter server by using administrator account and the domain and I have one of the ASXi added as a host. I will add the second ASXi. So I go to the action menu and add host. I'll type in the IP address of the second ASXi. and go next and the username is root and the password for root and go next alert i will continue and then host summary i'll go next I'll continue with the evaluation license and go next. Disable lockdown mode, go next. VM location in data center one, go next. And then finish. So this is the second ESXi server and this is the first ESXi server. The first ESXi server has a virtual machine, lightweight Ubuntu. I will migrate this virtual machine from the first ESXi server to the second ESXi server by using vMotion. So I right click on the virtual machine that I want to migrate and then select migrate. The migration wizard starts. Here I have three different migration modes. Change the computer resource only. So select change computer resource only option. If I have a VM that is located on a shared data store and that is connected to both ESXi hosts. The VM I'm migrating is located in the local data store of the first ESXi server. So this one doesn't apply. The second option, change data store only. I will select this option if I want to remove the VM from a directly attached data store in the first ESXi host and move it to another directly attached data store on the other ESXi host. The third option, change both computer resource and storage. It will migrate the VM from one data store to another data store as well as it will migrate the VM from one host to another. So I will choose this third option. It will migrate both the VM and the storage. So I'll go next. In the select a computing resource, I will expand data store one and select the second ESXi host into which I want to do the migration. So 101 is the source and 102 would be the destination. So I choose 102 and go next. Now it is listing the data store in the second ESXi host and I have a data store named data store 40-2 in the second ESXi host. So the virtual machine files will be moved to this data store in the second ESXi host. So I select that one and go next. Now it is showing the source and destination network support groups. This is the source network port group and this is the destination network port group. Both of them are connected to the same network, VMNet1. 
So I select that one and go next. The virtual machine is ready to migrate. I will click on finish to start the migration process. During the migration, it will re-register with the virtual machine from the first SXI host and register it with the second SXI host. Also, it will move the virtual machine files from the storage of the first SXI host to storage in the second SXI host. Near the bottom of the screen, it is showing the status of the migration process. When this will complete to 100%, I will be able to see the virtual machine in the second SXI host and it will be removed from the first SXI host. This process is called vMotion. You can migrate a running virtual machine from one physical machine or ESXi host to another physical machine or ESXi host without turning off the virtual machine. So this vMotion helps to move a running virtual machine or a running service in a virtual machine from one physical machine or SXI host into another physical machine or SXI host without disrupting the service that is running in the virtual machine. vMotion is complete. As you can see, the first ASXI host doesn't have the virtual machine anymore, and the second ASXI host got the virtual machine. If I go to the web interface of the ASXI host directly, I will see the virtual machine in the second ASXI host. I will go to the second ASXI host and log in and you see that the virtual machine is in this ESXi host also I should see the files of the virtual machine in the storage and the data store 4D-2 I can browse to the status store and this is the folder and these are the files for the virtual machine that were moved from the data store of the first ESXi host. And that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.